In this quick tutorial, we'll take a look at editing with um, metaballs or modeling with metaballs, I should say. I like them; they're really fun because you can make kind of all kinds of nice, you know, cool shapes. But there's only a few things you need to look at. This is a rendered view of it right here, and it's got nice smooth edges and stuff like that. But when you look at it and you're modeling the scene, for instance, like here's a couple metaballs tied together. I'll show you what they are. They just they really do cool things when they just kind of connect with each other. We could add something else to the scene. Just shift A. You go down here to Metaball and just add something to the scene. We'll add an ellipsoid to this one here. Alright. And when you first look at it, you know, they look kind of tacky because they've got these hard edges, but that's I'm sure quite the deliberate design by the programmers so they don't so it doesn't tax your system because then the uh, when the where is it? Right in here, if you come up here to the object data on this, you'll notice under the view it's at 4.4, .4, but the render is 0.2. Smaller numbers in this case are really what makes it work. I have a reasonably fast computer, so notice these edges here, they're kind of squared off. And so in this case, I should be able to drop this number down, and then you should see the thing become smooth. And it does. So let's take a look at the render at 0.2 again, like that. How did I get those in the way? That was was it change my lighting? Oh, the, I must I must be blocking. That one must be blocking the light. We'll move it over here. Let's see. Well, that kind of gives you an idea. It's pretty smooth edge. In fact, let's change the rendering down a little bit more, way down, and see how much of a difference it makes. Uh, it's not too much, but you can see from a distance. Nice, nice objects, right? Really clean. And so they're really powerful, and then you can do some pretty cool animations with them as well. So, um, now of course, when you go into edit mode, into you know this, let's go into this and just get one of them alone. Whoops. Where am I? I'm not in edit mode. Okay, let's just get that that guy by itself out there. All right, so if I go into edit mode, you notice you don't have the same parameters to deal with. You can't just go grab the objects. In fact, notice your vertex and um, edge and face selection disappear. So it's a whole different game altogether with them, but they work great for kind of organic shapes and you can do some pretty cool things with them. And I'd just say experiment, play around if you haven't ever messed with them before because they certainly suit their purpose for certain applications. Okay, well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next video.